delicious, heart-healthy, high-protein muesli. That's what we're going to learn how to make in this video. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And for those of you new to the channel, my name is Ryan, and this is Minus the Gym, where we talk about being fit and healthy at home without relying on a gym. And part of being fit and healthy, especially healthy, is what you put in your body. All right, so what we're looking at in this video is a muesli recipe that I highly recommend. I've talked about it before on my channel and showed it, and I got a lot of questions about it. So I figured, why not make a recipe video? So that's what we're doing, and I'm gonna jump right in. In order to make this recipe, you're gonna need three different types of whole grains. And what I use are old-fashioned rolled oats, and then I have this Ezekiel 4-9 blend of different whole grains here. This is unsweetened, so no sugar added to it. And also I have puffed rice cereal. This is just puffed brown rice, that's it, no other ingredients. So those are the three grains. And then you're going to add two different nuts and seeds. What I'm using here is hulled hemp seeds, also known as hemp hearts. And I also have almonds, right? Sliced almonds, because I like the texture of sliced almonds as opposed to whole almonds or, I don't know, slivered, whatever else they have out there. And then you're gonna need two different dried fruits. I'm using raisins and dried cranberries. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the recipe right up here on the screen. So I don't know if you wanna pause the video and write it down or take a screenshot or whatever you gotta do, but that way you have the recipe right there and then I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now, the beauty of making muesli is just how easy it is to make it. All you do is measure out the one cup of oats and the quarter cup of the other two grains and put them in a bowl. And once you've got that in your bowl, you wanna take the three tablespoons of hemp seeds and sliced almonds, go ahead and add those so you have your nuts and seeds in the bowl as well, and then add the tablespoons of the dried fruit. Then what I'll typically do is just add some fresh fruit on top of it and I'll use whatever I have on hand. Um, this could be bananas, but right now I've got strawberries, so I'll slice up some strawberries, put some blueberries in there, and I think we have cherries, so why not? I'll add a few sliced cherries as well. And then you top it off with one to two cups of your favorite plant-based milk. I typically use hemp, soy, or flax milk, but you can use whatever kind you like. And there you go. That's it. You have a delicious, healthy cereal. And what's awesome about this is that you can change up the ratios of whole grains to nuts and seeds to dried fruit, however you want, based on your taste buds. So if you want more grains in there, maybe it's too sweet, you can do one and a half cups of oats, or you can maybe do a half cup of the Ezekiel 4-9 and the puffed rice, just for example. That way you have more grains, it's a higher ratio of grains to dried fruit. Or what you can do if you want more sweetness is use more dried fruit or more fresh fruit in the recipe. So it's really flexible, you don't even have to be exact with the measurements. In fact, I'm at the point now that when I make this recipe, I don't measure. I just eyeball everything and it always turns out really good. So if you're still watching this, you're probably wondering, okay, this might be good, but why does this guy eat this way? Why not, you know, if he's into fitness, why not get his protein and eat eggs and bacon and all that stuff? So the exact recipe that I shared with you, which I will put back on the screen right here, it actually delivers quite a bit of nutrition, okay, and especially protein. Believe it or not, it's 730 calories, roughly, and 30 grams of protein, depending on which type of plant milk you use. So different plant milks will deliver different amounts of protein. Almond milk, for example, is very low in protein, but flax milk and hemp milk are very high in protein. So that will vary depending on which milk you use. But for the most part, I'm typically getting around 30 to 35 grams of protein. And sometimes I add more hemp seeds than just three tablespoons, which gives me even more protein. So this is definitely not a low protein cereal. It's not like the, you know, the sugar laden, you know, Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes and all that stuff you might be thinking of. This is very healthy cereal. But on top of that, you also have to consider dietary cholesterol and saturated fat, which are found in animal products and have been shown time and time again in the scientific literature to be linked to heart disease, which is the number one killer worldwide. And think about statin drugs. Statins are the number one prescribed drug in the world, and yet a lot of people aren't shying away from the animal products or even trying to. But I did, and it's made a profound difference in my life, and that's why I eat this way. I feel great, my blood pressure is down, it used to be elevated, and now it's back to normal. And I have tons of energy, I enjoy the food, 
and I'm getting plenty of protein so I can still do the fitness like I love doing. All right, everybody, I'm about to go enjoy this delicious bowl of heart-healthy, high-protein cereal, okay? But before I go, I just wanna tell you, if you try this recipe, let me know down in the comments if you like it and if you wanna see more recipes from me because I have plenty more to share. All right, talk to you later.